Hello everyone, Christina here, your tech director. Hey, today I wanna to give you a quick tip on how you can use the Showing Time app to schedule showings. All right, let's get started. One of the first things you need to do is to download the Showing Time app. Once you have downloaded the app, you open it. As a new agent, once you have downloaded the Showing Time app, you will see this screen for username, password, and login. You're going to go down to forgot login. Once you click that, you'll put the email that is associated with the MLS. So whatever email that you put when you join the Board of Realtors, make sure you put that email here and then click send password. So from there, showing time will email you what your login is. And then you'll be able to um, reset your password and sign in. Once you have logged in, you will see all of these different options. Okay, so I'm going to go to the top here, those little lines, the menu lines at the top, click that and that brings up this menu on the side. You can schedule a showing, you can see um, any showings that are on your listings, showing that you requested. Um, you can even view or edit instructions on your listings that you have in showing time, et cetera. You can also view activity reports. Um, you can also view any feedback that you've left or that people have left for you on your listings. So there's a lot of things you can do in here. Now, one thing I do wanna say at the beginning here, this is a really easy way to schedule showings. If you don't wanna do it through the app, you can always call them, okay? So you can always call CSS slash showing time and schedule your showings. Same thing for your listings. Once they have synced to the showing time app, you can just call showing time and verbally tell them on the phone what rules that you want set up with your listings as far as what days and times your sellers um, will allow showings, any special instructions for the showing, such as please remove your shoes in inclement weather or lock all doors and turn off all lights, et cetera. So calling showing time is really, really simple to schedule showings, et cetera. However, if you do want to use the app, here is how to do it. When you go to schedule a showing, it's going to pull up your listings first. I currently don't have any listings, so it's blank. But you can search by address or MLS ID number, or you can click near me in the middle here to see all the different options. When you're searching for address or MLS ID, you would just go up to the very top here and start typing the address, and then it will pull it up for you to schedule the showing. When you click on near me, this will pull up any listings that are nearby. And you can go in here, something to note is you will see appointment required, go and show, appointment required, appointment required, et cetera. That is letting you know if this showing um, would need to have an appointment or if it is most likely vacant and the showings are automatically improved. That's what go and show means, okay? When it's an appointment required, it will always depend on what the rules are for that listing. Um, you'll see on this one, this listing is not accepting online appointment requests at this time. See MLS for scheduling instructions. What that means is, they probably have in the showing instructions on the MLS to contact the listing agent directly to schedule a showing because not everybody uses showing time, but most people do. Um, let's see on this appointment required. This status has changed to pending. You'll see that a lot as well. Let's say you wanted to schedule an appointment for 106 Murray Street. You would just click on the go and show one right there. That will pull up this um, screen where you can actually schedule the appointment. So you choose what date and time. I usually recommend 60 minutes just to be safe. I know this is a crazy market and there's 
tons and tons of showings. Um, but that's just what I've always done just to give my clients plenty of time to walk around. And if they really, really like it, it's usually going to take longer than 15 minutes. So um, give them 60 minutes just to be safe, choose the start time. And then you can add notes to the listing agent. I never do. I don't ever select what buyer it is. I just click request appointment. Once you have done that, you're actually going to see that the showing has been confirmed. You'll get this little notification. Your showing has been confirmed, the date and time. And then you'll even see what type of lot box is on this listing. It's a Supra iBox. So you'll definitely need to make sure you have your Supra key app on your phone. It says no alarm. You can also click tab to view access details, which that would show you if there were um, any alarm codes, et cetera. Okay, so that is how you schedule an appointment. What's really great is you can also click on I have requested and it will show you your showing. So on a busy Saturday, when you've got 10 showings scheduled, you can go in here and easily see what, um, what appointments you have scheduled and what the showing instructions are. Always keep in mind to double check if there is a combo because most of the time they will have the code in the app right there for you. So you'll know what the code is when you get to the door. And keep in mind um, where the location of the lot box or super box is as well. So just note those things as you're scheduling the showing. If you are a new agent and you're wanting to do agent previews, I highly recommend that you schedule those go and show appointments. So that way you're not going to homes that are most likely occupied and inconveniencing a seller. So those are just some tips on how to use the Showing Time app. If you ever need anything at all, I'm always here to help. Have a great day.